After some sightseeing, we ended up in a Starbucks. Ordered my favorite drink, decaf, iced caramel macchiato with extra caramel. What caught my attention was that my drink was served in a mug with a paper straw. A mug and a paper straw in Starbucks? That's unheard of. And it is what inspired my talk today about cooperating with others to create harmony. What does harmony mean to you? Well, to me, living in harmony means that human beings strike just the right balance between what we need and treat the environment with respect. Simply put, living in harmony means that I have clean air to breathe, clean food to eat, and clean water to drink or to use. All of these are very important for our survival and well-being, and we know that they depend upon our environment. Living in harmony with a healthy environment will ensure that we have, and will continue to have, the air, food, water, and other necessary resources, which also means a healthier Earth to live on. However, living in harmony also means that every section of our society, not just a single person, or a single organization has to work together to sustain our healthy environment. One pressing issue that needs cooperation from all parts of society, the 1950 innovation called plastic, is the number one threat to our environment. According to WeFrom.org, the fact that the cost of recycling plastic is higher than producing it, and also many countries, especially in Southeast Asia, still have very poor recycling management system. Therefore, only about 9% of all plastic products is recycled. About 12% is burned. And about 79% is dumped into the landfill and ends up in the ocean. 8 million tons of plastic waste ends in the ocean every year. If we still go on at this rate, there will be more plastic waste than fish by the end of 2050. Isn't it shocking? Plastic products are all around us and a part of our everyday life. Do you realize that single-use plastic products that we use once and then thrown away have created serious plastic problems? Our ocean is filling up with plastic trash. Plastic threatens our wildlife and sea creatures. Plastic poisons our food chain. Exposure to them is linked to cancer, birth defects, and so on. The good news is that the world has started to come together to take actions. One of the actions is that it commits to reduce and stop using single-use plastic products by replacing them with other eco-friendly choices. As a result, it has seen the reduction of plastic waste. Let me give you some examples. First of all, China, the most populated country in the world, has banned the distribution of single-use plastic bags on grocery stores and shops around the country. As a result, it has seen 66% drop in plastic bag usage. Another example, as I mentioned at the beginning, Starbucks announced to eliminate single-use plastic straws from 20,000 Starbucks worldwide. It plans to remove 1 billion straws every year from the stores. Last but not least, at the individual level, we can make even more progress. Each of us can make a difference by changing some bits of our daily life. Many people in my area bring their own reusable bags to retail or grocery stores, and so does my mom. She always refuses to pay extra for plastic bags in order to help, in order to plastic To be a part of helping our environment, I use my own reusable water bottle when I come to my school or go to my dance class, and I see many students and teachers do just the same. In the future, I hope to see more legislation to reduce plastic waste for my government. It is not just about having a Starbucks drink in a real mug. It is about if you stop, I stop, and everyone stop the use of plastic products. We can make a real difference. With the power of cooperation, everyone can enjoy the healthier and cleaner environment and also be part of creating a more harmonious world. Yeah.